I'm at a dry storage facility in South Florida and I'm looking at this little trailerable trawler. I say that because it's on a trailer. And you can see the trailer here. It's got the tongue. Not only does it have the tongue, but it also has the braking mechanism right there. So there are trailer brakes built into this trailer. So regardless of what kind of vehicle you're pulling it with, when you hit the brakes, the trailer will brake also. So it's safe for the highway. Got a pretty heavy duty winch to crank it up on the trailer. A nice big bow with a claw or a Bruce style anchor. Three windshields. Got a searchlight there on the top. Radio antennas folded down and a Garmin GPS antenna. A hauser hole right here. You can see the foredeck. That's where you can put your anchor locker. Your anchor chain goes in there and he's got the rope going down the side. I don't know the reason for that. Looking back here at the tandem trailer, you can see two wheels, two axles, and you can see the side of the boat. Looking in, you can see there's the motor box. So this has got an inboard motor. Do not know if it's gasoline or diesel. I'll look on that in a minute. You can see the solar panels that must go up on the roof. They may have taken the solar panels off for the highway trip on Interstate 95 to get down here. And you can see it's tied down pretty well with the cleat. There's the exhaust. And looking down here you can see the propeller and the rudder. And look at the rudder, it's got the hole in the rudder. So that way if you need to take the propeller shaft out of the boat, take the propeller off first turn the rudder sideways and slide the shaft through that hole. Great idea to build it that way. Coming around the stern, it's rounded edges on the stern. And you can see they've got extra lights, so maybe the original trailer lights weren't working, so they put the extra lights over there. They do look yellow. I don't know the purpose of the yellow light. Maybe this is a better view of the propeller, the rudder, and the propeller shaft and the skeg. So you can run this boat up on the trailer, you can run it up on a sandbar, you can run it across a tree. Hopefully your rudder and your propeller will not be damaged. Going back around the other side, the port side, there's a ladder, swim ladder, and you can see here there's a story, don't know the answer, but you've got the original galvanized wheel over there, and then a replacement white painted wheel, not galvanized, not salt water friendly. Going back up to the bow, see you've got some space, and this is a sweet little boat that you can pull behind a pickup truck, something like an F-150. You don't need a 250 or a 350 or anything with dually wheels on the back. So this is a sweet little trailerable trawler, not to be confused with a truckable trawler where you would have to hire a professional 18-wheel truck to hire it up and down the road. So while we're here in the boat yard, you can see we've got a Pro-Line with outboard motor, a big yellow fin with two outboard motors, and a lot of other boats in summertime storage in South Florida. And when the weather gets cold up north, you know these guys are going to come back down here and use their boats in the warm Florida weather. If you have any questions about boating in Florida, cruising classes, or boat systems classes, you know who to call. Ask Captain Chris.